In today's Your Healthy Family, B vitamins are some of the most popular supplements sold in drugstores. Many people buy vitamin B6 and B12, for example, because they're marketed as a way to boost energy levels. But a new study shows that using too much of certain B vitamins for too long can significantly raise the risk of lung cancer for men and even quadruple that risk among men who smoke. In a study that followed more than 77,000 people for more than a decade, researchers noticed a troubling trend when it comes to one of the most popular vitamin supplements on the market. What we found was that uh, men who had used dietary supplements, uh, in particular B6 and also vitamin B12, uh, were at significant increased risk of developing lung cancer. Surprisingly, there was no risk found in women. But in men, those who took high doses of these B vitamins for up to 10 years had approximately double the risk of developing lung cancer. In men who smoked, the risk was three to four times greater depending on which of the two B vitamins they were taking. This study looked at both men and women who took high doses for 10 years. A high dose of B6 is considered 20 milligrams, but supplements come in doses of up to 500 milligrams. A high dose of B12 is considered to be 55 micrograms, but B12 supplements come in doses up to 5,000 micrograms. So these are super physiological doses that are not necessary for, for your health. Theodore Brasky led the study at the Ohio State University Comprehensive Cancer Center, James Cancer Hospital, and Solve Research Institute. He says it's easy to get plenty of B vitamins from diet. Foods like cereals are fortified with them, and some energy drinks have 8,000% of the recommended daily allowance of B12. I don't think there's a, there's a clear scientific backing for an, a, a, a healthful need for these supplements at those doses. Although there's now evidence of just how much harm long-term mega supplementation with B6 and B12 can do for male smokers, researchers stress that the risk of lung cancer in this study was tied to the use of high-dose long-term supplements and not just through diet or a daily multivitamin. Next, they want to conduct a study looking at lung cancer risks in older men and women to confirm lung cancer risk association only exists in men. For Your Healthy Family, I'm Ira Cronin. For more health stories, head to Your Healthy Family.